There's been endless speculation as to who will be victorious in the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong film. Perhaps I fear the final film in the MonsterVerse, lest everyone in the world buys a ticket for it and all the merchandise. Endless questions raise as to the outcome after the battle of these two monstrosities. Which of the two is the greater evil? Which of the two needs to die? Something that you guys have to remember is that Godzilla slapped the shit out of the male Muto with his tail. But here's the thing, Godzilla's tail takes time to wind up. He timed it perfectly. And to be honest, I'm not sure if the male Muto was wise enough to see it coming. However, Kong is a different animal. Kong might be one who can process things and anticipate things. And on top of that, he's faster than Godzilla in almost every way, I would guess. So if Godzilla begins to wind up his tail swipe, Kong would probably avoid it, maybe even countering with a good knuckle sandwich to the face. However, this isn't to say that the stronger Titan will be the victor. We've seen this come to fruition in Godzilla King of the Monsters, where Godzilla ultimately beat King Ghidorah, who arguably was a stronger foe. Of course, assistance was required for Godzilla to become victorious, and Godzilla even had to enter his burning state in order to defeat the dragon monster. But nonetheless, King Ghidorah was extremely powerful, and the oxygen destroyer device fell useless toward Ghidorah and nearly killed Godzilla. So there's a chance, of course, that Kong could win this. I'm not sure how, and it might require some help from either the humans or Monarch. I'm not sure which. Kong uses the environment around him as a weapon. We saw him rip trees out of the ground and slap around skull crawlers as if he were wielding a giant baseball bat. We also saw him use an anchor to a ship to swing around like a flail and chop the hell out of the giant skull crawler. So in similar ways, I believe, Kong could use the environment around him to fight Godzilla. And if they're fighting in, say, a city, Kong could easily utilize steel and various metals to fight against Godzilla. But perhaps most importantly, electricity. In the original King Kong vs. Godzilla film, Kong was imbued by electricity from the lightning systems around him. The storm empowered Kong, enabling him to shock Godzilla nearly senseless. Kong was like a Jedi Master when given this power, and something similar might occur in Godzilla vs. Kong 2020. But I'm curious, how do you guys think this battle is going to go? Let me know in the comments section below, and like this video if you have not yet. I am the Iceman, more videos to come.